Today I am actually going to start introducing some of the new products to you. I am actually doing so from our hotel room in Rock Springs, Wyoming, where we are waiting for the transmission for our car to still be fixed. Our journey to Young Living International Grand Convention has been a crazy one, and I will definitely need to share that story with you guys sometime soon. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and introduce some of these awesome products. Um, I'm going to be doing several videos like this over the next few days, and today's um, products focus is on some of the lifestyle products that were just released, which I'm really excited about. Some of the reasons I'm excited about these are actually because I make versions of these already, and we use them consistently and have had great success with them. Now I don't have to make them anymore, and I definitely trust the effectivity of these products, plus they smell great. And they're not all in a base of coconut oil, <laughs> which is my go-to base for everything. So, yay, I don't have to smell like coconut all the time, unless I want to, which I could still do. Um, but I can also actually have lotion bases, which is fantastic. So, without further ado, we're going to start sharing some of these awesome products. So the first one, which is one of my most exciting things, is the Mineral Sunscreen Lotion. Okay, so this is actually FDA approved, which is a huge, huge deal. It means we went through testing, clinical trials, and then we submitted the actual ingredients and the trials to the FDA, and they said, okay, we agree, this can be released as an over-the-counter aid. Yay for that, we can claim it's a sunscreen. So, it has an SPF of 10, which means that it will help protect your skin from sunburn up to 10 times longer than if you did not wear it at all. So I guess you could say it's like it's increasing your natural sunscreen of your own personal skin times 10. So if that helps you all understand what SPF means, there you go. It's using zinc oxide as the active ingredient to help repel the sun um, from actually burning. Um, it's water resistant up to 80 minutes, which is a huge deal. So it goes on like a lotion. It's very smooth and then it stays on, unless you're rubbing of course, but it'll stay on and help protect even through water for up to those 80 minutes, which is fantastic. It's also kid friendly. It has a very light scent, so it's not overwhelming. It doesn't smell like sunscreen actually, um, but it's really super light and I'm going to put a little bit on you so you can <laughs> just kidding I didn't open it yet I pr I actually tried this at convention um, and it goes on super super smooth it does not have tiny particles that soak into your skin and then kind of get into all the layers it's just there so that's really really great it has plenty of essential oils including helichrysum lavender myrrh cystus which is also known as uh, Rose of Sharon and um, carrot seed and frankincense. It just rubs right in. It smells so good. <laughs> All right, and then um, since it's not overpowering and it doesn't smell like lots of sunscreen, it's kind of nice since that smell of sunscreen is not so fun. Next is Lavaderm After Sun Spray, also over the counter, FDA approved for burns. Obviously, the focus is on sunburns, um, but it's also great for minor burns, skin irritations. Um, this is a great insect um, bite soothing thing that helps with your itchiness after an insect bite. And the amazing thing is that this can be a perfect part of your first aid kit. Um, it sprays on. I don't know if I'll get this all over my computer, but I've got my shirt too. Um, so it's sprayed on but it's like a lotion now so then you can just kind of rub it in goes back to a liquid rubbed right in and then now it's protecting like a lotion it's a very specific kind of um, liquid state they had all the crazy scientific terms and I don't remember any of them so they're all written down in my notebook but maybe later I'll be able to share that with you um, this is actually menthol as the topical ingredient that's approved FDA and it is um, very soothing 
and it's a topical analgesic. Menthol is the active ingredient and the active constituent, I guess you could say, in peppermint oil. So we actually have that in here, which is super soothing to skin irritations and especially burns. Um, my mom had a sunburn this week and she's been using this and it's been amazing for her. Very, very soothing. It's also a, an extremely pleasant smell. It has lavender, helichrysum, and black spruce essential oils. Very, very pleasant. The next product is this insect repellent. Okay, again, this is one that I've made a lot. I'm not going to open this because we still have to drive back to Kansas City and it's an oil base and I don't want it, you can kind of hear it sloshing. Um, I don't want it to leak. I, I don't know exactly if I'll hit it and unopen it a little bit or something and I just don't want it to leak. So, um, but it's an oil base. So sesame seed oil is the base of this and then it has citronella, lemongrass, rosemary, geranium, spearmint, thyme, and clove, plus some vitamin E. That's it. That's all that's in this. And it's been clinically tested as well. It is not FDA approved because apparently sunscreen is not approved through the FDA. It's approved through the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. But it is approved through that. So the crazy thing is how they test this is they literally, okay, seriously, they literally got people to um, put one arm in that didn't have this on it and the other arm in that did have it on it into a box with hundreds of mosquitoes and then they just left their arm there and let the mosquitoes try to bite them or not. Crazy! These people were not paid enough. Um, but this worked. So yay for that. The other thing is they also tested this against other natural insect repellents and this tested higher for protection against mosquitoes. So hey, there's that. It smells really good. It is not overpoweringly like citronella, like, oh my gosh, that's the only ingredient kind of thing. It works really well and it smells really nice. Um, and it is DEET free. Huge, huge deal. DEET is definitely not okay. Um, it's repellent, but it's not natural and is not okay for you. So that's really cool. The last one I'm going over today is the Shutron 3-in-1 Men's Wash. This is awesome. I'm so excited about this. My husband is too. Um, this actually comes in two sizes. This is the smaller size. The bigger size is like, it's a good size bottle. Um, it can be used as shampoo, body wash, or shave gel, or pretty much whatever else you want. Um, it's scented with the Shutron Men's Oil Blend. There's a whole collection now of Shutron things. Um, there's like shave, uh, shave oil, there is um, aftershave, there's beard oil, all these things, plus the oil itself that are all in Chutron. Smells amazing. Very masculine, but it's also very pleasant to smell for anyone, really. Um, it's free of all artificial scents and chemicals and is completely plant-based. And since it's available in two separate sizes, this is a great size for a gym bag um, or travel. Um, and the bigger size is great for at home. I got the smaller size to try just to make sure my husband likes it before I go and splurge on the big one, which is awesome. The great thing, too, as well, if you've never used any of Young Living's personal care products, know that they are concentrated, so you only need a really small amount. And then if you um, really want to, you can do what I've done with a lot of my personal care products, which is actually get a travel container and then put some of whatever product it is, shampoo, conditioner, in it, and then dilute it. So it's all ready to go and I don't have to worry about using too much because it's already diluted for me. So I don't have to use just a tiny bit and then try to make it work through my hair. Um, this is a really great product and I'm excited for my husband to be able to use it. Um, tomorrow's new products are our seedlings line, which is the infant stuff. Super, super exciting, all the baby things. So please check back tomorrow. I will post the new video for tomorrow. It may be one that I've recorded today, so you may see me wearing this. And in this hotel room, I don't know yet. Um, but so exciting. And then the next two days, we'll be also going over a general... Um, a supplement kind of introduction on some of the new oils and the diffuser and then on Friday we're gonna go over some of the new makeup products very very exciting so savvy minerals yay and I am wearing some now and I will get to show you more on Friday so stay tuned come and check that out and if you have any questions or anything you want to see send me a shout out and let me know otherwise I hope you guys are having a great day